Hi everyone, how are we all? I hope you're all well. It is time to declutter. Um, I think it's been around a year. I'm sure I did a decluttering video for the daily edit, which was last March. So it's been like a solid, almost a year um, since I've done like a huge declutter. I feel like with my beauty stuff, I sort of go through every couple of months, I have a moment and I'm like, oh, this is getting a little bit too much. But today I'm gonna go through everything. So we're talking like makeup, skincare, hair care, body care, the whole shebang. I'm firstly going to talk you through like all of the sections in our home where I keep beauty bits so you can sort of see what I'm actually using, like what I've got in those sorts of stashes. And then I'm going to go through the big old bad boy that's here. You've seen this before. You've seen this before. I'm going to go through every single drawer that houses beauty bits and go through and declutter. And as always, it goes into three different piles goes into like the keep pile, things that I love, that I use, I rotate things quite often, so those are going in there. Then there's the pile of stuff to give away, maybe I'm just like not feeling it, it's lightly used, I'll give it to friends and family, maybe it's something that I haven't used at all. And those sorts of things I give to my mum, she takes it into work, they do charity sales with it, it's all good. Actually, side note, I think the next charity sale that they do is going to be open to the public, so Follow me on Instagram, I'll pop the dates and info up on there. Next time there's a little charity beauty sale um, down in Brighton. Keep your eyes peeled, some real bargains to be had. But all of that goes to charity, which is great. And then there's a pile of stuff that's just like expired, grim, gross, smells funny, looks funny. And that unfortunately is for the bin. But hopefully we're going to keep that pile quite small because I do feel like I do this quite often. So that doesn't happen too much. Um, I'm going to quit majibba jabba because this video is going to be very long and let's just show you what we're working with first. First place that I keep stuff is in the bathroom so down here I kind of have my everyday skincare, up here I have my like additional little add-ons. If you go a little bit further up the top I've got kind of tools and then like a little mini everyday makeup kit that I can just do my face in the bathroom if I need to. Then over here we have hydrating masks, clarifying masks, exfoliating masks. I love skincare. What, what can I say? Also in the bathroom I have this drawer that just has kind of my like everyday shower and bath bits in. So I've got things like my shower gel, my shampoo, like bath salts. I've got some of those weird like sock takes all the skin off your feet things. Um, I've been too scared to use them so far but like razors, all of that kind of stuff, that all just lives in there. I'm not sure I've ever shown you in this drawer but this is in my bedroom and whoa, cables. Um, but this just has sort of some everyday hair bits in, like a dry shampoo, a texturizing spray, my deodorant, that lives in there. And then over here I have like my everyday makeup vanity, you would have seen this many, many times before. Um, nothing that you probably haven't seen before in here. This is just like my everyday kit. I have more base bits on the bottom. I have eye bits here, lip. Oh, I did want to show you this. When I was in New York, I went to the Bite Beauty Lip Lab and I made my own lipstick. Oh my word, I love it. It's what I'm wearing today. It's such a good everyday pink. I'll put the formula for what it is up here in case you want to recreate it. Then I've got my brushes, a candle, my current perfume. This is the Nuco one. It's delightful. Probably about a fifth of the way through that. That's cool. So that is kind of all of my beauty stuff in situ. And then here is what I'm going to sort through today. Um, where did I get this from? Yep. Vince, mm, Vincent and Barn. There you go. Vincent and Barn. I think they still sell it. I've had it for like four years now. And basically I just keep my beauty bits in the first, I think it's these like first top drawers. Um, and then these ones on the bottom have like photography bits in, stationery, wires, cables, that kind of thing. Um, but ultimately these are the things that I'm not using every day. These are backups, these are extras. Um, so there should be a good couple of things that I can probably give to a better home. Okay, this is a pretty hefty drawer. Let's like start with one of the uh, most cluttered I probably have. This is my base drawer, so this has things like primers, sprays, powders, concealers, foundations, tinted moisturizers. I feel like the best thing to do is get everything out. Primers, I feel like is an easy one, and um, this has like a mini of Glossier Future Dew in it. It's just like decanted out for travel, so definitely gonna keep that. I'm definitely gonna keep the BDL Lumilea Primer. I really enjoy that. Really enjoy the Giorgio Armani one. 
really enjoy the Ulla Henriksen, really love the Charlotte Tilbury one as well. And the Becca Fairs like priming filter, I really love, but it's just old. I've definitely had this since our wedding day, so it's almost like three, four years old. It just smells a bit funky. And this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. It's just gone a little bit hard. So I feel like both of these to be recycled for the bin. I definitely accumulated a lot of foundations thanks to that foundation video that I did. Um, I will link that up there in the corner for you. I'm gonna keep all of these It Cosmetics, um, the Bye Bye Foundation and the Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I just adore them. So definitely gonna keep all of those. Um, from these, I love the MAC Face and Body. It's such a good like summer foundation for me. Oh, there you go, those need to go there. Definitely keeping the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Um, these were the ones that I tried from the video and I really, really enjoyed. Um, I think I'm gonna give the Anastasia ones away. Um, I, I just haven't used them since that video. I really like the finish, but they give a very similar finish to the It Cosmetic. So I barely use them. They're gonna go in the giveaway pile. The Surratt, again, I barely used, gonna give that away. I think I'm gonna keep the Pat McGrath Labs just because I see this most often on people and I'm like, oh, I love how that looks. So I still wanna experiment with this one. This was definitely the one that I was like, mm, still needed to make my mind up over. So I think I'm gonna keep these and give away those. I really don't know how I've got so many concealers here. I'm gonna keep all of the Glossier ones. These are in like different shades. This is the new shade G11. This is the old one, Light, which I personally prefer the color of. I've also got medium one there as well. I think some of them are used lightly, some of them are new. I'm gonna keep the First Aid Beauty Bendy Avocado Concealer, the NARS, and I'm gonna keep the Charlotte Tilbury because I really enjoy all those concealers. Um, I've never used this NARS Creamy Concealer, this mini one. So I'm gonna put this in my giveaway pile. I like it, I just don't like it as much as these ones. Powder-wise, I'm gonna keep the MAC. I'm gonna give away the Glossier. I think I might actually throw this away because it's just a bit kind of gross to pass that on to someone. It's really difficult to make hygienic again. And I'm also gonna keep the MAC Fix Plus. Um, so I'm just gonna pop it all back in the drawer. There you go, much better. Okay, so here we have blushes, highlights, and bronzers, also contours as well, basically any kind of cheap product. I've got two of the Hourglass palettes and I just think they are so gorgeous, but I think I've used this one once. I think I've used this one like twice. Um, yeah, I think it's time for me to realize they're gorgeous to look at, gorgeous products to have, but I just don't use them. So I'm gonna clean these up and put them in the giveaway pile. For bronzers and contours, I'm gonna keep the Too Faced. I'm close to finishing it up. Uh, the Fenty one, it is so much deeper. I, I just, I'm not crazy about this. I'm gonna pop that in the giveaway pile. The NARS one, um, I think I'm actually gonna give away because it, it leaks quite annoyingly. It's just a little bit messy and it's much more of a summer bronzer for me and I just didn't use it this summer. Um, I'm very much in love with my Chanel, Soleil Tan de Chanel. And then I've got two Kevin Aquan contours in here, keeping them both. I've got three highlighters, which sounds a bit outrageous, but I'm gonna keep them all. Um, just, I kind of rotate them in and out. Um, I've used all of them quite a decent amount, so I wouldn't wanna give them away. Um, so I'm gonna keep all three of those. How the hell do I have this many blushes <laughs> when I barely ever use one? I'm definitely keeping the Milk Makeup. I really like that one. And then this MAC one um, that I used in a recent video, I'll link that there in the corner for you, I really, really enjoyed. And the Florence by Mills one, oh, Oh, great, it's literally just broken in my hand. Um, I'm not wild about that one. Oh, great, yeah, no, properly broken. Um, either I'll scrape that out and put that into a little like pot so I could either use it as like a lip product or something, but yeah, I think for now, rubbish. Glossier Cloud Paint, ah. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep that. And then these, I really, really, Oh God, I, look at that one. I, I've literally never used it. Okay, so I'm gonna give away this one from Nude Sticks. This is the Nudies Tiger Lily Queen. Love the shade, but never use it. I'm gonna keep this one. And um, I really like wearing it on the lips as well. This one is Sweet Peach Peony. Right, popping it all back in. Oh, if you wonder where these are from, these are from Muji and they're great. Um, I said I've done some pretty good downsizing with this one. Not bad, not bad. Oh man, eye products. This is a grim one. <laughs> They're so much in here, I've got palettes, I've got mascaras, eyebrow products, liners, single eyeshadows, eyeshadow toppers, cream eyeshadows, the whole shebang, let's clear this out. For palettes, I think I'm gonna keep this one from Morphe because it's just basically all my favorite colors in one palette. 
This one from Kevin Aquan. This has survived so many declutters because occasionally I use it and I love it. And I know it's not the most like me palette, but it's a fun one to have in case Kate Jane Hughes like ever inspires me. Uh, this one from Huda Beauty, I really enjoy playing with. I'll pop the video up there in the corner. Gonna keep that. I think I'm gonna give these two away. This one is from NARS, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love that color, but there's no point keeping it for just the one color. And then also this one from Dosa Colors, Sassy Siennas. I've literally only ever used this with Kate Jane Hughes whenever I see her. I haven't used it on any other occasion. So there you go, that was quite an easy one. Brow things and mascaras. These are just two of the long con miss your big. Definitely keeping those. This is the P-Mail like mascara base. I actually found that it made my lashes really white and kind of gross. So I'm gonna throw that away. The Pat McGrath Labs is so gorgeous. Really, really nice. And I have to have like a lash lift in order for it to work. Um, these are just brow gels. I've got one from Milk, one from Hourglass. I'll keep them both. I really enjoy those. Brow Flip from Glossier. I'm, I'm just not sure about this. The more I use it, the more I find it a bit too heavy. So going to give that away. Going to keep the It Cosmetics, the brow power. I really like that. These are my different eyeliners. And in terms of like a black eyeliner, I'm not crazy about the Glossier Pro tip. So I'm going to pass that on. I really like the Pat McGrath one. So I'm going to keep that. Um, but then these are like colored ones. I never use this one from Chanel anymore. This is just a really nice, like kind of smoky brown pencil, but I never use it. So gonna clear that one up, put it in the giveaway pile. Um, but I think the rest of them are gonna keep. There's a nude one from NARS, which is really nice for like waking up the eyes. And then these are all Glossier Play. And I just like the idea of kind of having them in case I wanna do something crazy. Um, so they don't take up much space either. So I'm gonna keep all of those and then keep that one. So these are all of my single eyeshadows and I appear to have joined the Alana Davidson school of eyeshadow toppers because these are all like glittery, <laughs> shimmery eyeshadow toppers, uh, the majority of them. So I'm gonna put those to a side because I feel like I need to go through each one of those like on its own. Uh, these are cream eyeshadows. These are powder eyeshadows, and this is a random thing called Freck, which gives you like false freckles. Keeping that, it's fun. Um, in terms of these, oh, what do I do? The Pat McGrath eyeshadows, I've just barely, barely worn them at all. Um, I feel like I've got so many mid-tone browns. I just don't think I need either of those two, so I'm gonna pop them in the giveaway pile. This is such a fun shade by Tom Ford. Again, something that I've only really ever used with Katie Jane Hughes, but I'm gonna hold on to it. It cost me a pretty penny. Uh, this is uninterrupted from MAC. People are telling me that MAC Sober is discontinued. Is this true? Have you heard the same thing? If so, I'm 100% not getting rid of this. It's definitely not exactly the same in tone, but it, I, I like the tone of it, so gonna keep that one. Then in terms of cream eyeshadows, and um, this is from Charlotte Tilbury, this is Betty, it's what I wore on my wedding day, gonna keep that. Groundwork by MAC, I always have that. Memory by Chanel, it's just a very good like, ooh. Ooh, it's got a weird like top layer on it. Mm. Yeah, you know what? I've had that for a very long time. I'm gonna bin that, I don't wanna put that near my eyes. Julian Dempsey lid tin, um, I kind of adore this shade. I don't use it very often, but it's kind of fun. The same with this Surratt one. Nice if I just wanna do a simple neutral gloss on the art base. Gonna keep those. Right, okay, so some of these are bodyography. They very kindly sent me some across the pond, which is very nice. And then some of these are hourglass. I feel like maybe if I just open them all. Oh, that whole bodyography one just came out on the stopper. Ah, there you go, it's back in. <laughs> Let's put those to one side, and then let's put the hourglass on the other side. You know what, I can definitely get rid of this green because I used it in a video and I didn't really like it. It was a little bit too cool toned. I'm just way too into warm tones on the eye right now. Okay, these, these are all basically gonna look the same. <laughs> These are all very, very similar. I'm gonna pass on this bodyography one because I feel like it's a little bit too like minky and too like silvery for me. And then I feel like these two are kind of similar. I'm gonna keep the hourglass one just because that's what I've used and I really enjoy. And then I feel like this is more kind of golden than anything else I've got here. So I feel like they're a nice, they're a nice little family together. They'll be able to see me through any sort of eye look that I do. Okay, partially downsized. Not the worst declutter ever. Let's pop these all back in my drawer now. I think that's everything. There you go. I'd say that was quite a, um, a decent downsize in that drawer. We're losing light, so I tried to get a little bit more light in here. I hope that's not too shadowy for you, but it is time for lipsticks, 
lip balms, sheer lip balms, lip glosses, lip pencils, the whole shebang. I feel like I had to sort through these actually not that long ago, so there might not be too much we can get rid of here. Um, but in here I have like my lip pencil -y kind of products and then my lipsticks that are in like twizzly up things. Um, oh, when I did the Bite lipstick making thing, I got like a Bite Beauty lip balm and a pencil. Definitely keeping that. Definitely keeping all of my pencils. There are some from NARS, there are some from Laura Mercier, and I really enjoy these two lip pencils. One of them is Halong Bay from NARS, the other one is the KKW one. I think this is in New 0.5. I like both of those. This is from Bite Beauty and it's like a really intense orangey red and I think I've worn it once. So passing that on. I'm gonna keep all my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks because I just adore them. They are like the nicest textures ever. Um, the only thing I hate is they're like magnetized so they don't, ah, they don't do that. They don't sit together, just sit together. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna pass along that one. I've literally never used it. This is Velvet Muse. Um, it's just way, way, way too deep for me. So passing on that one, keeping those two. And then in here, I've got a lot of like balms, glosses, more like sheer lipsticks. Hmm. I feel like I could pass this on from Flesh. Um, I feel like I've kind of mauled it and used it quite a few times. So it's definitely one for the recycling. These ones from NARS I really like. I really enjoy the NARS lip balms. I've got a few backups in here. This is NARS Chelsea Girl. It just completely smushed up in the lipstick bullet. So I just put it in a little tub. Um, but I think the rest of these, oh, maybe not this one. This is from Bodyography and this is Chiffon. I've never used it, but I just, I know that it's so similar to the, um, the Lisa Eldridge one that I'm using at the moment. So I'm gonna pass that on, but I think all the rest of these can stay. And that's everything back in the lipstick one. So that's from the makeup declutter. This over here is everything that I'm giving away. And then this over here is everything that I'm gonna try and recycle where possible. I don't know, I'd say that's like pretty good. What do you think? Okay, now I'm not sure I've shown you inside this drawer for years. This is my nail drawer. And inside of it, I've got my nail lamp, which is basically how I do my nails at home um, gel style. So this has in the lamp, this is from Red Carpet Manicure, and then some gel polishes, these are from CMD. Um, but I just don't ever use like normal nail polish on my nails anymore, so there's definitely some decluttering I can do here. So these things I'm definitely keeping. This is just nail polish remover, gel nail polish remover, and then Hill Genius from Soap and Glory. I always have that. And then here I've got some tools. You know what? I never, ever, ever use this hand cream. It looks fancy. I never use it. I'm going to give that away. What is that? World's tiniest nail file. This nail file I actually use, and then these are the tools I use when I give myself a manicure at home. So I'm gonna keep all of those. This hand cream from Chanel I do actually use. And then these, oh, I don't know what to do. Keep that. Keep my nail in these, because I really like those. I'm gonna keep ballet slippers and keep sugar daddy. This is the top coat that I use. Ghost Edit is really nice as well. Guys, I haven't used Poor Chester Square in yonks, so passing that on. And then these are all really, really old. I'm not sure these will go to the charity sale, but I think I'll just see if I can pass these on to a friend. Um, Oh, that one from Holiday from Chanel. I just never, ever, ever use them. So gonna pass these on to a mate. Which then means I can put these in here. And then in here, I've got all my gel nail stuff. These are funny little things that I found on Amazon that help with removal. You like put them over your nails, ta-da! And you put like the cotton soap pad in there. They actually work really well. So I've got the light, I've got the top coat, the base coat, and then all my favorite kind of nudes. You know what, I'm gonna keep all of these because they're just like some great nudes, some great kind of lilac-y shades, and then like a deep purple red as well. So I'm gonna keep all of that in there. There you go, I'd say I've done a good job of that one. We're getting close now, guys. This is my perfumes and candles drawer. And actually, I'm not sure I can get rid of anything. I'm not sure I can get rid of anything. You know what I mean? I'm happy with everything that's in there. And um, that's a Rituals candle. And then I've also got an Elemis Soothing Glow candle. Let me just have a sniff. Oh, it's really nice. I've got my mini boutique ones in here. Glossy AU, Centric Molecules, a big one, a small one. I've got two clean reserve fragrances. And both 
Sell Santel out. I love that one. Sell Santel again. I love that one. I haven't opened them. They're in a dark place, so they shouldn't go off. So I don't think there's anything I can get rid of this one. And then I don't think there's anything I want to get rid of in my skincare drawer as well. Like, I've been through this quite recently. I sort of had a clear through of my bathroom bits. And I'm like, you know what? I just think everything in here I either love and use, and this is like a backup of... Um, so yeah, unless anything changes or anything starts reacting differently with my skin, I feel like everything in here are things that I will use up eventually. So I think we're all good. Oh, this one is heavy. Okay, so this one is my bath body kind of tanning one. Um, I've got some therapy bath salts in here. Oh my God, I've got more. I've got more. That is brilliant news. Oh, again, I'm not sure there's anything I can get rid of. Sorry, this is lame. I've got like a NARS body oil, the tanning oil that I love. What's that? Medium dark. Yes, kills. I've almost used that up. The Emma Horo and Oskia body scrub. I love that. Body blur. I really haven't got that much left, actually. Loxatan rough and dry feet intensive foot balm. You know what? I've actually got the Soap and Glory one. I don't need that. I can pass that on. Um, but I feel like everything else in here... I will get around to using up. Oh, these, the KKW Beauty. These are the body foundations. Um, I have psoriasis on my legs and was very intrigued by these. Um, I'll give them a test in the summer and I will let you know how they go. The final drawer. Um, this is my backup hair care stuff, um, which looks ridiculous. Yes, there are only four things in here. The Way Wave Spray. Um, I never ever use this i keep hold of it because every summer i'm like maybe this is the summer i mean i've used it maybe once but i never use it on the reg i think i just need to pass that on and the igk mistress that's in case i'm being a bit frizzy this is a really nice um regenerating hair care mask and then sand night this is the dry shampoo i like um, so I don't think there's anything to get rid of in there either. So here's the final count. These are the items I'm going to try and recycle. And then these are the items I'm going to try and find a new home for. Can't currently feel my knees, but it's all good. I feel like lighter. I feel decluttered. Um, I feel like we actually got rid of a decent amount of stuff there. Um, yeah, lots of things that can hopefully go to a better home. I hate holding on to things, I know. I'm just not going to use it's going to go out of date and someone else could have given it a lot more love than i could have um so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you want more organization shiz then check out my book my blog my pinterest there's loads of stuff on there for you to have a little read of thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon for a brand new video bye